Today I'm making a quick tutorial on how you can set up GitHub Actions to automatically upload to an S3 bucket. So the idea behind this is, say you have some files just stored locally and um, you want to push it to GitHub and you also want to upload it to an S3 bucket. But what we can do today is that we can set up GitHub Actions so that it automatically uploads to an S3 bucket, which means that you don't have to do uh, two things. This is quite simple um, to do, especially if you have a static website. Um, and you know, say you're making some changes and uh, you want it to be displayed immediately, then you know you just have to push it to GitHub and then it's, it's automatically uploaded to an S3 bucket. So let's get started. I have a repository uh, for the config that you'll need in the description below. We'll be using that to set it up. So check that out and yeah, and then come back to the video. All right, so the first thing we want to do uh, to get started is just log on to your AWS console. What I'll be doing is creating a, a new user um, specifically for uploading the uh, files into my S3 bucket. Let's go on users. Um, add user. I'm just going to call this demo S3 user and give it programmatic access. Missions. Fix. Attach an existing policy um, and then just give it full access. View. So yeah, so we'll we'll need this um, user when we when we're setting up our GitHub actions, um, especially the access key ID and the secret access key. So I'm just going to download it because um, we'll need it for later. All right. Um, typically, you don't want to share this either. It's just um, you just want to keep this to yourself. Otherwise, other people will be able to um, add to your S3 bucket. So now that I have this, I'm going to um, get started in, with cloning and then adding the config um, to my repo. Um, as you'll see here, I already have a repo already created. Uh, previously, I just created it so that I can make this tutorial a bit shorter. So I'm just gonna copy this link so that I can clone the repo to my local directory. Um, so I already have a terminal open here, and I'm just going to cd into my desktop, um, and then get clone. Yep, so we know that it's empty now. Um, also just, also just change directory into that and open it up in VS Code. So yeah, now I have this repo locally. What I'm gonna do is um, create the, the uh, folder that we need. So what I'll do is I'll just head back to the to this repo and then I need this folder. So I'll just copy that. Now that I have this, um, I'm just going to create a new file in here and name it main yaml. So we're going to enter uh, the config we need in here. What I'll do is I'll jump back to this repo. And I'll need everything up to here. Now, if you if you want to specify a specific folder that you want to upload to your S3, then I suggest you um, add this as well, and then just uh, change it to the the folder you need or the directory you need. I don't need it for this 
uh, project. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to copy up to, up to here. Paste this in. Um, one more thing that I'll need is this exclude tag because I don't I don't want to um, upload the GitHub folder as well. So I'm just gonna put this in here, and I'll add a star in here. So anything with uh, Git in it, uh, starting with Git, I don't wanna um, upload it into my history bucket. So click save. So now that I have this um, in here, I'm just going to add a, not, not in there, but in here, I'm just going to add a index.html file as well, um, just so that we can see the output ones. Think so. so we can see something upload. Um, yeah, this is just some HTML I copied off screen. Yeah, that's all good. Um, yeah, so what I'll do now is jump back into here. And now we need to set up the uh, secrets for GitHub. So just go into my repo, go into settings, and then into secrets, and then repository secret. The first thing I'll need is my S3 bucket. So um, one thing that I already have set up is um, I've already created an S3 bucket beforehand as well. So I'll just jump into there. Set up one here. And I'll need this. I need the name for it. So just jump back in here and enter the name. Now for the secret name, we're just gonna get it from here. So AWS S3 Mark. It needs to be the same. And then I'll need as well. And then I'll need to get the um, the values that from earlier, the ones that the ones that we saved. So I'll just copy that from off screen. And lastly, we'll need this AWS secret access key. All right, so, yep, yeah, so this is all good. Um, I have the secrets ready. Yeah. Okay. So now we can head back into the repo. And we can push these changes into GitHub. So I'll just open that terminal. Um, so I'll push this up, I'll head back into repo and we can see the folder we added and the index of HTML. Now if we head into actions, 
and let's see that it's in progress right now. Seems like it's all good. Um, head to my S3 bucket, I'll refresh, and yeah, so it looks like we have our, uh, our file uploaded successfully. Um, I'll just make this public so we can see it. Let's enable this as well. That looks all good. Let's check out the endpoint and it's displaying. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope it helped you out and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to help. Um, otherwise, that's it from me, and I will see you next time. Thanks.